long has it been going? Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. I am. I am so far. Okay, I uh, like to think of my life sometimes um, as, well, not my whole life, parts of my life, maybe as, I guess you say habits or rhythms, some structure. I like structure. A little flexible structure. Things that I enjoy doing and things I think are important, I like to make them regular rhythms, regular patterns on a micro scale. I don't, I think small changes, and by change I just mean small things, not even necessarily changes, but just things, small actions, eventually that's what builds your whole life. All the little things you do every day, that's what your life is. And I want to make those little things really intentional and significant, and I want to shape a life that I love and that I think is good and important and valuable. And one of the habits <clears throat> that I really like to implement in many ways is reading. Reading kind of as much as possible. I like to read when I, I, I find that my day is so lovely when I can wake up and read first thing and when I read last thing as well before I go to bed. I sleep great. I feel good. My brain just feels calm and relaxed. And when I have that time, especially in the morning, to just have a really slow start to the day. The, when I have to get to work and do things that are maybe less enjoyable, they don't seem as hard because I've ha already had that time to myself to fill myself up. So it's easier to do all the other tasks throughout the day. And as much as I want to say that I do this every day, I don't. But this this week, this week we're going to try. That's what this video is. We're going to try to create this regular rhythm throughout the week. My goal is to read every day before I have to leave my house. Ideally, for an hour and a half to two hours, depending on like what my mind feels like. Usually at an hour and a half to two hours, I start feeling good. I feel full and I'm, I guess I start feeling like I want to move. Now the day that I work at 6.30 a.m., it might be a 30 minute session. It's probably going to be a 30 minute reading session, but we'll see. We'll see. I also want to make sure I read before bed every night because that the morning session is the most important, I would say. And in order to set myself up for success for that, I have to have a good sleep. Because if I'm tired, I'm just going to sleep. Then I'm not going to get up. So reading before bed, it relaxes my mind. It makes me fall asleep. If I'm on my phone, I'll just stay up, even if I'm tired. If I'm reading a book, I, I, I'm just out. I fall asleep. And that's what I want. Last night I read before bed, this morning, well that's not true, I got a little distracted last night. I read a little before bed, <laughs> but I read this morning for an hour and a half, which was so good. And I think I'm going to go to work early and just chill there for a bit and read some more. I'm in a reading mood today. I woke up this morning at around 6.45, made coffee read from around 7 to 8 30 and that's where we're starting it's a monday it's a monday anyway thank you for watching thank you for being here please like please subscribe and i will see you tonight when i read before bed see you soon hello welcome to my bed chamber it is monday night it is ooh, 21, 21. Mainly I'm in bed because I don't know what else to do tonight. So I'm going to read. I'm going to do that in bed. And also in two mornings, I have to work at 6.30 a.m. And so I like to prepare my body for that. I like to jolt myself into a 6.30. Got to ease in. So even though I don't work at all tomorrow, 
I am gonna set my alarm probably for pretty early. It'll depend what time I go to sleep because I do still want a healthy, a healthy, chunky sleep. And I'm not tired at all yet. I'll show you the books I'm gonna read. I have dialogues with silence and these are poems. So I will probably read just one of these. I like to read it a few times, think about it, really absorb it. I'll probably read one of those. And then I have two options here. I have Gulliver's Travels and I have Harry Potter. I was mostly reading Gulliver's Travels today and so I'm kind of in that headspace. So I might continue that, but also I might get too sleepy. And if I get too sleepy, then I'll transition to Harry Potter, which is easy to read when you're sleepy. So that's it. That's my plan. I might check in later. I might not. We'll see how I feel. If I don't see you before tomorrow, good night. See you in the morning. Hello. So the truth is, I have not read a lot since we last chatted. It is 11.25. Time flies. It just flies. Uh, my husband came home and we were chatting and hanging out and then I was on my phone and oh, devastation. But I am starting to get sleepy. I did read a poem from Thomas Merton earlier. And now I'm going to read a little Harry Potter until I fall asleep, which will hopefully, I mean, it'll probably be around midnight, but I'll still see you early in the morning. I've got, I've got to do it. I got to do it. Good night. Going on, there were tears of my spine. There were thrills I can't define Listen, sweet, I repeat Good morning. How long is it? My plans for last night and this morning were a little derailed. But that's just what happens sometimes, is the truth. I ended up having to stay up later, figuring out... Figuring out <laughs> figuring out details for this meeting we were supposed to have at 8 a.m. Anyway, I ended up having to be up till 12.30. Unfortunately, I had such high hopes. Initially, I was in bed at 9, like 9.30. <laughs> but, mid but midnight 30, 12.30 is when I think I actually fell asleep. So... I turned off my alarm because I need more than six hours of sleep, unfortunately. And I woke up, I woke up at 7.30, so not that late. But I felt like I had stayed up late. It didn't feel like a great rest, so my reading this morning was a little distracted. But we're getting there. We're getting there. It's not always a smooth trajectory. I'm going to get on with my day, run some errands, do some things, probably, hopefully read some more. And tomorrow I work very early. So I hope that I'm tired around 9 and I can fall asleep. But we'll see. I'll see you tonight. Habits are hard to form. Sometimes. <laughs> hmm. Let me catch you up to speed. <laughs> it is Wednesday evening. <sighs> Last night, I didn't read before bed because people were at my house. They left at 9.45 and then I immediately went to sleep. Oh, really? Thank you. Oh, sleeping.
um, I immediately went to sleep. And that was great. This morning I worked very early. But I did, I got up at 5.45 a.m. And I read one poem, one page in my Thomas Merton. I read it probably three or four times, as I do. And then just sat for a minute because it was early. <laughs> and listen, you're caught up. You're caught up. We're working on it. Tonight, and by time, it's about 7 p.m., I think. What do we got going on? 7. And I have been almost sleeping all afternoon. <laughs> I've been mostly laying down, waiting <sighs> till it's an acceptable time for me to go to bed for the night. Which we're getting close. We are getting very close. I uh, <laughs> am probably going to do a few little bits around the house. A little, um, I don't know, maybe do some dishes, you know. And then, I haven't had dinner. That might come to bite me in the butt later. Okay, I might have some dinner. We'll see. And then... I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I'm probably gonna read in bed. Because it's early. Also, loving this plant shadow we got going on over here. That's kind of fun. Alright, I'll see you when I start reading. <laughs> Hello, it's a couple hours later. It is exactly, I can show you, 10 p.m. Can you see that? 10 p.m. Um, and I'm in bed. It's Wednesday night? I think it's Wednesday night. And I have lover's travels and I have Harry Potter um I think I might just do Harry Potter Glover's travels is like a daytime book for me I think it's a daytime book because the idea of reading that right now made me a little sleepy <laughs> which I guess is good but I also want to remember what I'm reading so I think I'll just do a bit more Harry Potter Until I fall into a slumber. My husband's not home yet, so I might get distracted when he arrives. But maybe I'll fall asleep before he gets here. Who knows? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I repeat, how long has it been going on? Into heaven I'm heard I know how Columbus fell I need God another word Keep me warm Hello. It's Thursday evening. I'm in bed. I'm about to go to sleep. I do have Harry Potter over there waiting to be read but I am really tired <sighs> I just got home maybe 20-30 minutes ago it is Ooh. let me show you it's already almost 11 so I if I start reading I'll just fall asleep almost immediately oh, which is good <clears throat> the temptation 
in moments like this is to grab my phone and scroll because I'm so tired that even starting to read a book feels uh, like too much effort. <laughs> and so I, then I'll grab my phone and then before you know it, you are deep in the scroll game. And a lot of time has passed. And I don't want that because I also want to get up tomorrow morning. I work at 8.30 and I want to read before that. So I have my alarm set for, I think, like 6.50 or so. So I can get about an hour of good reading time in, in the morning. Uh, so. <sighs> yawn, yawn, yawn. I'm going to roll over. Open Harry Potter. Probably read five pages. And then fall asleep. See you in the morning. What a dance I was before. What a brave for heaven's sake. I love it. Uh, it's Saturday, it's Friday, Friday night. It's a Friday night. And it's pretty late. It's already 10.45 ish. And I just finished up all the little work bits and things I had to do. I'm pretty late. <clears throat> and I'm really tired. So I might read a couple pages, but I might just fall asleep. I'll see you. <laughs> Saturday night. I feel very cozy. I'm very excited to be in bed right now. Yeah. 9.35. 9.53. Basically <laughs> 10. And I'm in bed. I have... Wow, you can't see that at all. Harry Potter. And also... Oh... This book called Holiness Here by Karen Stiller. Put it behind the light. <laughs> I'm gonna snuggle up and read until I fall asleep, which will probably be soon because I'm tired. <laughs> and how's the end? That's the end of the week. I have, I often try to read in the morning and read before bed, but this week felt kind of hard. I got distracted a lot, <laughs> but it was good. It was good to see myself trying regularly because I, I think that I think I do it more regularly than I do. So this week showed me that I'm a little, little less intentional <laughs> about doing this than I think I am. Especially at night. The night one gets me because I'm tired. And I often will just scroll before bed, which I hate. I hate, hate, hate that. But it's just so easy. Uh, and my alarm clock broke. And my alarm clock broke again. So now I've used my phone as my alarm. So I need to get a new alarm clock. <laughs> Which really helps when your phone's not your alarm clock. Anyway, the week was good. <clears throat> I'm glad that I did it. I am going to keep doing it. Keep trying to do it. And that's kind of it. I really, I really love the way, like I know I love this pattern. And thank you for coming with me for the week. To work on it to try it out I hope that you can find some habits like this maybe it's not this morning and night maybe it looks different for you but think about how you want to implement the things that you think are good and 
don't be overwhelmed by your failure <laughs> because you can just try again tomorrow and that's so good but that's all for today i'll see you soon have a good day subscribe Bye. <laughs>